There's really only been one major opposer to the deal, and it's Sony. And Sony's trying to protect their dominance on console. And the way they grow is by making Xbox smaller. They have a, a very different view of the industry than we do. They, they don't ship their games day and date on PC. They don't put their games into the subscription when they, they launch their games. Um, they're starting to think about mobile, as I see from the outside, just kind of reading some of the moves that they're doing. Um, but because Sony's leading all of the dialogue around why this deal shouldn't go through to protect their dominant position in console, the thing that they grab onto is, is Call of Duty. And we've said over and over, we'll make a multi-year, 10-year commitment to PlayStation. It was the first call Satya and I made to ship Call of Duty on PlayStation. Satya and I, Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft, we made a call to the CEO of Sony the day that the deal was announced to say that it's our intent to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation. And they actually publicly affirmed that at the time. Now we're, we're kind of getting in the slow rolled on the negotiation because it's 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 become good fodder for the regulators to discuss this. If you just look at the deal model itself, I mean, it's not hard to think about how much of the valuation of this company is Call of Duty revenue that happens on PlayStation. And to pay what we're paying for the overall Activision Blizzard King and then instantly impair the asset by saying we're going to pull the largest console version of Call of Duty out of the business model of this company literally would, would take billions and billions that we would have to write off almost instantly because we would impair what Activision is. We've made the statements to Sony that we will continue to ship Call of Duty on PlayStation. Um, we've tried to make a 10-year commitment, same version, same features. We've said the same thing to, to regulators. I haven't really heard a customer opposition of how a consumer who's going to get more choice through this acquisition of what the harm is. But the hard harm to the largest console maker seems to be where the regulators are spending a lot of time. And I mean, they're, they're, they're really twice as big as we are in the console market. So it's, I, I, it, I find it challenging because the, the largest console maker in the world is raising a, an objection about one franchise that we've said we will continue to ship on the platform. And it it's a deal that benefits customers through choice and access. And Call of Duty is an important part of it. Like you said, Call of Duty Mobile is part of the Call of Duty um, franchise itself. How to decouple that from what happens on other platforms seems really, really challenging. Um, when PlayStation players are going to get the same great Call of Duty experience they had this year, they would get the same thing next year and the year forward um, if this deal closed. <music> Oh, 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 oh,